You're a crooked, dirty jockey, and you drive a crooked hoss. Hoss. Yeah. 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 That's the best line. In the that movie. is a good one. Good. The yeah. Show. Yeah. Although my favorite, the one I think every day is, um, or whatever it was, whether it's as harder as shoes, because it seems to me I have a lot of days that are harder my shoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's one or the other. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana it's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute. This is the podcast where we usually talk about Indiana Jones movies, but by golly, it's Christmas time. So we're here, of course, to talk about how the Grinch stole Christmas. Hey. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm Pete Mowart. Oh, uh, stank, stunk. <laughs> I'm Jerry Porter. <laughs> and I'm Professor Christy Porter. Joining you again. Welcome. Hooray. Hey. Hooray. It's a family affair. You gotta be with family for the holidays. That's why you're here. Yeah. Yeah. You're my sister from another mister. Ew. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Stop. It. Sorry. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying oh, that when a man okay. and a woman love each other very much. Way to ruin the grin. One of those men is Tom's <laughs> no. dad, and one of those yeah. women's is Jerry and Christy's mom. Yeah. <laughs> like the way I Do the started. Math. Can we move on? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Holy cow. Blessings of the season upon all of you perverts. We are here to talk about, uh, we've done this before. We did this at Halloween. We did this last Christmas. We pick one of these uh, beautiful heartwarming specials from our youth and from the nation's youth. And uh, we pick it apart and either feel better about ourselves or much, much worse. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're here today to, to talk about the Grinch, the original Grinch, not the Jim Carrey Grinch, not the probably better than that, but not as good as this one animated Grinch is coming out right now as we speak, but the original Chuck Jones Grinch cartoon starring Boris Karloff and uh, a cast of Who's. <laughs> and I, the you who know, cast. talking about making things uncomfortable, like this starts with the cat in the hat. And it says a cat in a hat presentation. And he raises his eyebrows twice in a way that makes it look like he's just made the most salacious double entendre of all time. <laughs> Get it? Presentation? Huh? Uh, like a cat. It doesn't make any sense. Cat in a hat? Uh, who here hasn't catted in a hat before? <laughs> Show of hands. <laughs> you I know never. what I'm talking about. This guy gets it. Stop. Stop. No, I never. You know, you, you invite your <laughs> you invite your thing one over, and it All shows right. up with thing two. I hated no, the cat. One, no, thing yeah. two is up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I did want to ask you guys quickly: what is your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Considering this, oh, this, that's this a really is good one. one. Mulberry, yes. To think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, because I grew up next to a Mulberry Street, so I always thought he was talking about my neighborhood. So it had oh, nothing. Nice. It had nothing to do oh, with the ca- like the the you know the text. The story. Well, the I, lo- I loved the text, too. I think that would still be my favorite, but it made it extra special. Gotcha. Tommy? Yeah. Um, My answer might be the same as yours, because we bonded over this ages ago. But uh, the sleep book is fantastic, as is, um, oh, the things you can think. But- They're just random and great and weird. Those, those, are, those are my two favorites, yep. Yeah. Although I do uh, like uh, what what's the one McGillicuddy's like is it on beyond cool. zebra? Yeah. I like on beyond yeah. zebra and uh the McGillicuddy and God, I referenced the Snitches. McGillicuddy's pool. McGillicuddy's pool. Yeah. Oh, Snitches is great. The Sneetches, I yeah. reference the Snitches once a day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You like and kids. Fox and Socks is really good. They're all good. They're all good. What are you going to do? <laughs> are genius. I think Fox and Socks was the first one I was able to read by myself. So oh, that's nice. meaningful. But the sleep book is awesome because it's got yeah. all those great creatures. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um uh yeah, sleep book. Yeah. I really, yeah. you know what was a treat though was uh uh Bartholomew Bartholomew Cubbins and the Ublick. Because yeah. that was a library book and yet took some special effort. <laughs> yeah. yeah i had a record with like a bunch of these it had bartholomew wow. and the ublek and it had fox and socks and it had uh i think the sneeches 
and a bunch of other stuff. It was very weird and cool. I, I had a book from the 40s uh, that was a collection of Dr. Seuss's political cartoons. Oh, oh I was already wow. kid. And yeah. They were like anti-Nazi, <laughs> yeah. anti-Mussolini. Yeah. Wow. And they were they were fascinating. I've I've seen wow. that. Your old the turtle didn't do it for you. You had to go right to the source. <laughs> yeah. 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 You didn't go for all this uh, <laughs> you know allegory or anything. Yeah. No. Horton here's a noir. <laughs> yeah. Mama here's a dame in distress. <laughs> Some of them were a little problematic though. Uh yeah. 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 It's 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 best just to keep him as Dr. Seuss and none of this Theodore Geisel <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I didn't even realize that when they put Ted Geisel on the on the credits, mm-hmm. uh-huh. that's who it was. I'm like, oh, Ted. Really? I've never heard of this <laughs> yeah. Ted character. I suppose yeah. he was yeah. someone, but Yeah. Ted. <laughs> you know who I get a kick out of in the uh, opening credits is uh Albert Haig. Who wrote the yeah. music for yeah. this? And I know him. I just remember him from the Fame TV show from the eighties. He was like the music director, or whatever. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, I just remember kids in like line in like third grade, and everyone was like super excited about the Fame TV show, and like Coco was really it. cool. Uh, I, I don't remember a thing about it. I probably would have hated it now, but I, I love the opening a big thing. music though. Sure, it was famous. But I, the, what I like is uh, Thurl. I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's probably Tural. Ravenscroft, who sings you know, mean when Mr. Grinch, and do it, Tommy, do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mean one. Not that. He, 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 it turns oh. out he was also the voice of uh, Oh yeah, Great. Tony the Tiger. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> really? He was a, yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't get credit in this, does he? No. He's not in the no. credits. And he, Dr. Seuss apparently felt so bad, he wrote a bunch of letters to newspapers telling them that he was in it. Yeah. So who was it? Tony Good old the Tiger. Thurl Ravenscroft. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh. Yeah, but who is he oh, in this? The Southampton Ravenscrofts. Yeah. He's the he sings the song. <laughs> oh, he sings. He's your the, favorite oh. guy. Oh, yeah. I. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if you'd just seen the credits, you would have thought that Boris Karloff did all that, but he didn't. Yeah, if you read, I did, because I was. That's yeah. Yes. Okay. But when you know, come to think of it, the credits actually say Grinch noises and narrated by. Yeah. You know, it doesn't say it sings. He sings. Yeah, that's right. Huh. And it's got Mr. Taylor's all-time favorite, the Ponds for Old Ladies. I can't do it. <laughs> the Ponds for Old Ladies. <laughs> what? Christmas is for Old Ladies. <laughs> Cindy Lou Who, and I think one other little tiny Who is uh, June Foray. It, Rocket yeah. J. Squirrel from Bullwinkle and, uh, correct. and uh, Michael uh, Brody from uh, Jaws for one line mm-hmm. for some reason. <laughs> <or> two <laughs> lines. Maybe. Yeah, so I really had a hard time putting that together. So I knew that he was he was uh, the Brody kid, but then yeah. I couldn't put it <laughs> that kid together with June Foray. I really so yeah. can you explain it? She was just this uh, amazing uh, voiceover artist, and she did thousands of cartoons. I know I looked them all up. So my question yeah. to you is, what? which is your favorite oh. June Foray character? And I'm going to give you oh, some probably choices. Rocky. Oh, well, I'm Rocky's sorry, go ahead. great. Yeah. Then there's Jokey Smurf. There's Granny from Bugs Bunny. Oh. How oh, about sure. Witch Hazel? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How about this one? Miss Prissy. Who's that? Wah, yes. Oh, God, God yeah. Yeah. She's the scrawny chicken. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, she is a chicken, isn't she? she? Of course she's a chicken. She's, she's actually a chicken. chicken. She's okay. a chicken. Okay. She's like uh, yeah. <laughs> na- neighbors with foghorn leghorn. Yeah, isn't he like courting her or something? Or no, no, she wants her, her to be courting her. Or... Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you okay. better go review. It's always something. <laughs> so is that, and then he May paints Parker? her with a white stripe, and then he thinks she's a skunk, and then he's all into her, right? <laughs> she, she. <laughs> <laughs> he has to play the bulldog's whiskers like a bass. Uh, and, yeah, so yeah. Is it, was this? I wonder. Was the connect, connection there? Chuck Jones. Ooh, yeah, maybe, or just maybe. you know, life. I mean, she yeah. was plugged into everything. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. was plugged into everything. And we all love Chuck Jones, right? Yeah, I had I had no idea that that was uh, that, that that Chuck Jones was you know did all this stuff. Oh, really? No, but it I makes didn't sense. either until I looked it up. I love Chuck Jones, but mm-hmm. this is sort of like if this were if you were doing Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck at this time, I would really hate it. 
Yeah. Like I'm more of a purist, like earlier Chuck Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Like he kind of got like, all the, I don't know if it was him or the characters, but they kind of got stale in like the fifties or something. And it got weird. What are you, what are you talking Wait, what about? What do you mean the fifties? You know what I'm talking about. Which one? Yeah, maybe the sixties. <laughs> I don't know. They just got, it, it, it got to, it got to be less about, I don't know. I'm not going to get into the whole thing. Let's talk about the Grinch. All right. <laughs> I like this Chuck Jones. He does a great Grinch. job. This is beautiful. Yep. And it is interesting yep. how he, like, CBS had made like they had had such a huge surprise hit the year before with the Charlie Brown Christmas. They basically just threw money at Chuck Jones and Ted Geisel. And said, make it, make <laughs> nice. it, make a hit, and they did. And they did. Good yeah. for them. But they almost yeah. didn't. Uh, apparently, you had to get sponsors. You didn't sell mm-hmm. it to like a network. You sold it to sponsors. So Chuck Jones made twenty different presentations to different sponsors, like Kellogg's and other cereal companies, and none of them wanted it done. So oh, wow. uh, the people who picked it up were the, was the Federation of Banks. <laughs> Not even the banking claim. Federation yeah. of Banks. And he said that was really surprising because of the line that um, it, doesn't, it doesn't come in packages and buttons and bags, right? It, you yeah. know, maybe it doesn't come from a store, and you would think that banks would want it to come from a store. Yeah, those damn banks. <laughs> see they did us a solid three there. sizes that day yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> furthermore it costs like three times what charlie brown cost it's like an enormous yeah, amount expensive. of money so why yeah. why did it cost so much money it's boris karloff money i got to pay that I mean, guy charlie brown the way they animated it, it's a couple of squares and circles <laughs> and this just kind of manually moves some of the comic strips up and down a little bit. <laughs> I yeah. just don't get it, Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next ha, page. Ha, ha, that's funny. Well, we start off with the everybody singing this song, that like this fake Latin song, and the first line is "Fahu Fores," and it was that's they put that in there as a nod to June Foray. Oh, wow. Are you dead serious? I was going to make a joke. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, no, they, that was for her. Yeah. Aw. Who knew she <laughs> had a fake her. Latin name? Huh. Yeah. But apparently, like, people thought it was real Latin, and lots of people wrote in asking them to translate it for them. Yeah, why are you cussing constantly in Latin in this song? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you people? It's Christmas. You know, we, we all call it the Grinch, but it's how the Grinch stole Christmas. Mm-hmm. That's like the official. Well, and I thought about it. It's it, it's kind of great because you're like, well, so it's a done deal. <laughs> yeah, he actually did. He it. actually yeah. did it. He stole yeah. Christmas. And then there's a real, you know, if you watch it all the way through, spoilers. But there's a real irony to it. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like well, Grinch speaking is of 11. irony to things, well, why does Christmas always involve killing trees? Because they come back, it's rebirth, it's a cycle of life, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a resurrection. They were going to kill him anyway. Yeah. Might as well drag him inside and put stuff on him. Yeah. Well, that's, isn't that one those of those, jerks. like we always talk about, you know, like like with uh, Last Crusade, you know, there's there's the grail, the religious aspect, and then there's the pagan mm-hmm. aspect. I mean, isn't that a whole O Tannenbaum stuff, one of those pagan things? Probably. Yeah. Well, that Probably. was one of my questions for you, actually, so... Is Whoville uh, exclusively Christian, pagan, or secular humanist? They worship uh, Who Jesus. Oh. Who is a deaf, dumb, and blind kid who sure plays a mean <laughs> pinball and is played by Roger Daltrey. That's Who Jesus. I did not know that. No, see, you know what? <laughs> I, I think it's where is it? Is it, uh, and you, you'll appreciate this, Christy, where, where is it up in, is it Bar Harbor, Michigan, where it's all Christian? <laughs> Harbor, Michigan. No, well, you are only allowed to sell. You're only allowed to sell your house to another Christian. Oh, Bayview. Bayview. That is, that's that it. It is Bayview. Petoskey. It is Petoskey. Yeah, Bayview, Michigan. Okay, all There's... you Bayview listeners, please turn off now. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh goodness. I'm just saying it's in. It's been in the news over the last few years. Okay, so they're not Christian. You know? But perhaps they're pagan, and perhaps they are secular humanists or Unitarians. Give your, you know, take your brothers. So the reason I think why that are you saying they're not because, Christian? Because there are zero Christian uh, symbols in this, except for one. Uh, what about the Christmas tree and the and the wreaths and the holly and the and the pagan, mistletoe pagan, pagan, and the uh, oh. pagan? <laughs> well, I was just thinking the fact that they call it Christmas. 
Yeah. It's a crazy mm, no, all secular humanists. No. See, I, I thought yeah. about this a little bit, but there is one. Okay. Oh, well, it's like it's a little puzzle for you. You ready? You ready? Uh-huh. What is it? What's on top Percy, of the tree? It's Percy. <laughs> no, it's not. Foghorn Lighthorn, Christian. <laughs> no, it's the beast. No, it's not the beast. Uh, it's it's the star on top of the tree. That's that counts. That's, yeah, that counts. How does it not count? You tell me. Because it's the star on top of a tree. If the if the Christmas tree itself is secular, then the 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 star's got to be. I mean, like a you know, bauble, just because it's a pretty shiny thing that oh, oh it looks like a frankincense man, it's, decanter. It's like you didn't go to Catholic school at all. <laughs> Honestly, like I didn't. oh, that's right, you didn't. I did. I, yeah. Okay. So, what's the star for, honey? It looks pretty. Oh, you mean I know, I know. It's under, yeah, under it. It, it showed the three wise men the uh, the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're bad at this. <laughs> I hate this episode so far. This is awful. <laughs> this is that whole episode is Christy Stumps Tom. Can we just talk about the Grinch? <laughs> yes. Well, I, yeah, it, it, it does seem like that town in Michigan you're discussing, Jerry, like whether it's Christian or pagan or whatever it is, because everybody seems very much like it kind of seems like a cult. Like everyone kind of believes the same thing and they're all, they all seem like they might be one big family. Well, I, yeah. yeah. Isn't the point that they're happy? Yes. Well, you I know noticed something. It's got to uh, be a cult if they're happy. If they're <laughs> <laughs> nobody's just that happy. <laughs> nobody's happy. Yeah, I did. I did notice this. So, um, I'm. I was wondering if they're Branch Davidians. What? <laughs> or something. Something like. <laughs> something like that, because they 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 are sequestered in this. They they have their own little town, and it's Hoover, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. And uh, the, first of all, there's no way in and no way out of the town. If Not you so look at the place, they have a gate of Who's later on. Yeah, yeah, they have a they gate of Arch, the exactly. Whoville Arch. Exactly. It's they have a little arch, but uh-huh. I don't know. There aren't really any roads, and they're very far away from from civilization. Just now, I was in general, I'm wondering that. Because I thought maybe there was an Amazon distribution center right over the other side of the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. It could be. That's how you get your stuff so quick. All that nimble who <laughs> that's what I labor. Yeah. yeah, where did you get that yeah. sleigh? Labor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wondered, like, if so, if like they could both be both. You have the who, uh, the who, who's in Whoville, and you have the Grinch. And yeah. I feel like either one of them could be. Like the Grinch could be a cult figure, I feel like. He has a certain magnetism. He's actually very He does have Yeah, it, yeah. he's very smart and he can get people mm-hmm. I I feel like even when he comes down at the end and he passes out everybody's presents that he stole, they're still fine yeah. with <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. So they're what a guy. Yeah, they're, <laughs> he either has because whether they're, they're Christian or not, they got Jesus or somebody like him in their heart. They don't have to label these guys. They're fine. They're happy. Huh. Anyway. Well, speaking of fine and happy, is the Grinch a unique being or are there lots of Grinches? No, please don't start down this road. We've had (laughs) Yaddles. We've had, you know, whatever. Just please. It's just the Grinch. We (laughs) wouldn't have to start down this road except that he mentioned for 53 years he's been blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm, So he was either, you know, a child growing up with other Grinches, maybe, or he Uh moved there after college. That's, or the, that's the Who's may have only been celebrating Christmas for 57 years or whatever it's been. Aha! Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. See, I have a theory. What the quote 53 is... 53 years. For 53 years, I've put up with this now. So I yeah. wondered, okay, so either he's 53 years old or uh-huh. he moved to Christian Whoville for 50, like 53 years ago mm-hmm. or yeah. maybe this is set during the 3rd century A.D. <laughs> oh God, that didn't, that didn't like, occur to me yeah maybe maybe just the world has only celebrated uh christmas for 53 years <laughs> see I, huh. I actually thought something similar but i thought maybe it was 53 years after the nuclear holocaust because everybody's got these weird kind of <laughs> like little yeah. uh what's her name little Susie who little cindy lou who has antenna antennae yeah. yes and that ain't like natural. the grinch seems like he might be some yeah something might have happened like he's 
yeah. somehow modified by radiation and you know, there are lots of <laughs> instances in this uh in this movie where you see radiation in use like they they break out the uh well that would explain machine quite that, a few times. that thing at the end that there's a ball of light that mm-hmm. just oh ascends. yeah the superman yeah. ship yeah. yes <laughs> i've been trying to figure out what that was yeah and well, they seem to will so it I... into existence so is is, yeah. is the grinch a who is he just no. so no. malformed no, no, no. and no. he has such a blackened heart that he this turned... isn't like a Gollum situation. I, I think it's possible because some, <laughs> of, the, you, some of the who's have like different kinds of facial hair, like body hair. Yeah. So it's possible he's just a further iteration of a who. Or a who or... could be, maybe who is just like a collective. Like, you know, it's not even like a, like a race or, or a, you know, it's not a, it's not a biological thing. It's just like, hey, you down with being blindly happy all the time and eating roast beast and, and everybody shares everything or awesome and happy. You're a who come, come hang out with us. We're all who's down here. I would, I would to bathe you. I would, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a back. I would, I would agree with you on that, except I'm calling out that there's a tremendous amount of homogeneity in whoville. And let's yeah. be clear. There's one guy who lives far outside the Whoville environs, and it's mm-hmm. and and it's the Grinch, and he's not the same color. And I don't just think it's because uh, he's gangrenous. Uh huh. <laughs> because he wants to be okay. a dentist. He wants it. Well, I'm I'm just saying they they draw it up from the very beginning. You know, first of all, he's green. Yeah. None of yeah. the other yeah. Who's are green. And tall. Not even and right. tall. And he's got pockets in his. In and he, his he, I think that's self-imposed, though. He's in a self-imposed isol. He's like, get off my lawn. I just want to be up here in my cave by myself with my dog. And just leave me alone. But you know what? It's, I anybody, understand this, Grinch. Anybody else wonder where Max came from? I hadn't until now. Yeah. Well, I thought perhaps that uh, uh, an ex-girlfriend, maybe. <laughs> um, had, sure. So they had shared a dog for a while, and then she left. Um, or back to that um, uh, idea that he left, uh, you know, he graduated from the frat house and this was the frat dog. <laughs> Where do you think Max came from? Heaven. <laughs> Max is a delightful <laughs> good boy. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it's Christmas. I, just, I should get this out of the way right now. Like, normally, I would love the Grinch. Like, because I'm not a big holiday guy. The character or the show? The character. Okay. Like, I, I think I would be like, oh, yeah, this guy's got it right. He's trying, he's fighting against consumerism, rampant consumerism, and he's trying to, you know, <laughs> he just like all these loud noises with these kids are making. But mm-hmm. I just can't stand the way he treats Max. And so I. Oh, that's hard. Oh, well, yeah. 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 No, you can't, yeah. you can't abide any bad treatment of Max. Uh uh-uh. uh. Max yeah. is Max wonderful. Is, yeah. He's a nice yeah. dog. He's right. a great yeah. guy. Yeah. But I mean, we do. I mean, we're you know, I'm sure people are going to say, "Hey," and maybe some of us here are going to say, "Hey," is he like anti-Christian, anti whatever the Who's are? Is it like a religious beef he's got with them? Is he intolerant? Is he? But there's like a real, you know, element of life where you're sitting there in your home, and you hear people walking by outside or something, and they're having. Or you're sitting in a restaurant or something, and there's like some table next to you, and they're like all raucous and crazy and having a great time. Uh-huh. And you're like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> and like you're not part of their fun, so it sounds yeah. awful and yeah. it's horrible, and you just want it to end. Like I, <laughs> I was telling somebody the other day, you know, I will survive by Gloria Gaynor. That's a great song. That's a fantastic song. But if you see people enjoying that song, it's one of the <laughs> deepest levels of hell. You just want to get as as far away from those people as you can. You don't want to be near it. You don't want it to get on you. You don't want to be a part of it. And I think that's where the Grinch is like. He's like. Listen to the, I'm not having fun right now. So why are they having fun? This yeah. is like gainer all day every day. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to survive. I'll see to it. Well, have they ever if they ever in 53 years of the who's ever invited him to partake in their Christmas joy or is he just like super lonely up there and he And you know no, the, the really holidays can bring out some really deep-seated emotional baggage too. Oh sure. Well, that's so, the whole the whole thing is like Jonestown. No, they didn't invite him. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't. You know, he. I, I don't. I, it's it's hard to say. They've already well, started. What is it that off like, Jonestown? Split. How is that like Jonestown? Well, the, yeah, no, wait. the who, the you know, like the who's in Whoville. They make a who circle around their town. They're completely. It's hard to say who's sequestered here. 
Mm. Yeah. We assume it's the Grinch, right? Because, but but that might not be accurate. Yeah. I, well, I mean, the maybe. Who, the, yeah. Yeah. The the Who's might be just as insular, and uh, you know, ha- have uh, you know, like a, a, you know, what what's their gene pool like? <laughs> right. like I mean, how that ma- yeah yeah it's like eight people i mean no wonder they got weird stuff hanging off their heads and antennae and <laughs> yeah cindy who yeah. what's their cindy happy? lou who, cindy lou who. Yeah, and absolutely. everything you know what all their names are who this and lou who they have who hash they have yeah. who roast beast <laughs> no the worst have- part about the who the roast who beast it's yeah. a dog they're eating a what? dog what what like look he, at the you way, take look that at the back way- right now it's a dog or a cat. Look at the way when he, when they bring the roast out of the oven, the le- the leg does not sit like some kind of fowl. The leg sits oh. like a dog or a cat. Well, that's okay. It's venison. There you go. It's ve- delicious. <laughs> well, that's I'm as close as we can I- get. It ain't no dog or no cat. <laughs> Pete, I, honestly. I hope you're right. They, You know what? <laughs> they have all of it. They have who pudding. They live in Whoville. It's Cindy... Mm-hmm. Lou who I, I, I think that they have this tumorous nationalism uh-huh. that, uh, you know, pervades their entire society. They're just jing- jingoistic. But they're so blindly happy and welcoming and stuff. You think, although they could be like a, like a nation of Ned Flanders or something. Like they're so <laughs> like, they, like if the Grinch walked by them, they'd be, Hey, howdy neighbor. And they'll throw a snowball in their face. And they'll be like, okay, thanks for stopping by. And they'll just like get on with what they're doing. And like, so maybe the Grinch just sort of breezed by once and, and everybody sort of got that they weren't going to mix. And he but, went up to his hill and just started hating. <laughs> them. Do, they, well, ever, do weird they ever is... actually welcome the Grinch in? Because we never actually see them address the Grinch or talk to the Grinch. <laughs> There's no. one well, stuff yeah, the, yeah. during the beast scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so. He's like, I mean, yeah, it took he's him in a 25 position minutes, of honor. Yeah, they did. And, yeah, yeah. No, but that's only after they've... that. That's at the only at the very end where he carves the roast beef beast. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's at yeah. the very end. That doesn't count. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Well, because the end of the then, story. Yeah, everybody feels good and fuzzy. I'm t- we're talking about the setting. The setting is first oh, of all, sure. who was there first? Because if I like, I had a theory that maybe this takes place in Banff. Oh, uh-huh. I thought of Banff too. Part. I did. did you? Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and I think there's there's there's. I mean, if 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 all the noise and racket is really bothering the Grinch, there's all sorts of other peaks and caves mountains he could live on and he'd be very far from whoville so i wonder sure. if like who was there first i get the, i got the impression that he was there first and they i kind of did too moved in and, oh you like, did okay and they in. moved yeah. in they moved yeah. in gotcha. it's easier to build a town than to find the perfect cave i would think <laughs> <laughs> well you could be right yeah <laughs> hey i have a question for jerry porter <laughs> okay and i mean this from the bottom of my heart <laughs> well, I'll let him stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, have you ever banged your tar tinker? <laughs> I have. Or your garganker? No, it, it actually. It ever whack really your hoo honker? It really hurts. <laughs> I know they they set it up like it's something you're supposed to hit, but you're not supposed uh-huh. to be banging it. No, no, no. Yeah, it's a pretty delicate that's, that's instrument. Is that what you're telling nature's me? Nature's cruel yeah. joke. Yeah. Oh, okay. There are T-shirts in Whoville. Like, who named this the Tar Tanker, and why are we supposed to bang it? Yeah. <laughs> does oh, the Does it. the Grinch have a job? No, he's he's like a hermit. Mm-hmm. He's like a nomad. He's like a he lives off the berries and bracken and stuff. He doesn't need well, he still has furniture, and not very much, money. but he has some furniture. Did you check out that bed? Yes. Yes, that I bed, did. That bed. Yeah, now, like I had a... never seen that bed. I'd always seen Max under underneath the bed but i had never actually seen <laughs> you know like the uh, bedroom set that he has well that bed yeah. looked an awful lot like a medieval bit like it looks like a medieval knight's bed and oh, then yeah. i kept wondering like maybe he drank out of the holy grail like if <laughs> oh. 900 years ago and this is what he looks like 900 years later because the beds all pat their patches everywhere on everything like the uh-huh. curtains have patches the the bedspread has patches like it's been and it, really, really it looks old. like he has a lamp, but it's actually a, uh, a, a hat stand, like a dressmaker stand, but you can put your hat on it and sew. Hmm. So, hmm. 
It's a hat He's, for me. He actually has a great eye for design. Yeah, he does. Yeah, when you look at his whole bedroom, it's this regal, medieval, industrial cave castle. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's an interior designer. I think he could be. Yeah. Does he? Does he smoke? Mm. Smoke some hoo hash at one point. (laughs) 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 I mean, maybe he should be happier, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. You'd think. I know. You know. I some. I know. uh, I know some people who are real potheads, and they're like one way during the day, and then <laughs> every night, right around like eight or nine, they they light up, and they smoke that hoo hash, and they become yeah. a very different person. I it's think like, you can say that for most uh, habitual substances, <laughs> 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 regular, <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> afternoon well, we, partakers. We actually saw them in the daytime, and we saw them at nighttime we saw him in his off hours Uh and he Mm -hmm. did not really change no he's solid grinch yeah Yeah. unless he was withdrawing or something and we saw him a little bit worse Mm -hmm. really bad mood is he just like what made him this grump do we do we need to know or do we uh like you know, like Ebenezer Scrooge, you find out that he had a you know a crummy upbringing, and and, and he's had his heart broken, and he just kind of mm-hmm. went down the wrong path, and all this stuff. And like the Grinch, you kind of it just might a have monster. been the hoops. If it's a new yeah. subdivision, yeah, combined Maybe. with the distribution center over on the other right. side of Mount Crumpet <laughs> on the other side, yeah. Yeah. there's well, a lot of traffic. You, a lot of things are changing. But no, yeah, he said he put up your, with this for 53 years. That's true. And if you spend your life savings. To move way out into the you know forest up on the mountain oh. to get away from everything, and then this town of of religious zealots moves in, and all they do is make noise with like they have all these things that just make noise. Yeah, like they blow their woo hoopers and blow their flu foofers. <laughs> and <laughs> do they have right a whole face. different set of of instruments for Memorial Day? I mean, that was my question. <laughs> oh God, are they this loud all the days of the year, or just the major national holidays, or what? They seem like a real giddy bunch and that they're just yeah. like yeah. so excited to just be having fun and running around and stuff. So yeah, yeah, I think Yeah. I think every day is a holiday for the Who's. Yeah. I, I can I, that I, on this your would make me mad. But the Grinch seems to hate the Christmas most of all. Like that's when he's yeah. he's 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 specifically furious about Christmas. And he does say that yeah, Christmas thing but I their hate Christmas is the noise 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 noise. Yeah. Yeah. I know the irony behind it is he says noise so many times that he becomes noise. That's right. <laughs> like he he says it maybe five or six times. Yeah. 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 I, I think it's it's great not knowing. Yeah. Uh, why the uh-huh. Grinch is 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 Grinchy because we all know somebody who's yeah. like that. That's what's great about Doctor Seuss is although these books are and these stories are you know fifty sixty years old give or take. Like the, the you know the green pants with nobody inside them that you're afraid of. It's I mean it's the Grinch that he's just a Grinch. It's like I don't really I, I don't really need to know much more beyond you know Sylvester McMonkey McBeans from the Sneeches, His background he's just an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. and he says with a cool. device. Yeah, he's got a big truck with a device. He says, well, there's one thing you never can teach a Sneech. Mm-hmm. And he leaves, and you're like, "Damn, I know that guy." <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, yeah. Well, then why would we? Why would we care about him getting nice all of a sudden? If we you don't always care want about people us- to be nice. It's always well, nice when the grumpy guy, you know, you boy, what day is today? Why it's Christmas Day? <laughs> that whole moment, you love that. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> I still don't forgive him for how he treats Max. I'm with Pete. Yeah, I don't either. Well, yeah. they're both to like weird. him at the end, right? You're yeah, supposed to like the Grinch? Yeah, you're excited that he's one of the gang and that he's happy and that he's yeah his heart grew three sizes. I don't think I don't think Max moves back up the mountain. I think he stays. Uh, I hope possible. St- I, I hope he ran down the mountain and found some nice family. You know what? I don't know <laughs> yeah. if anyone. I don't think the Grinch moves back up the mountain. Does he? He has to. That's a. Oh, why? Well, you can't have that Grinch hanging around. Well, what do you mean? Oh, He's a know. different guy now. I, I, as a matter of fact, I want to know. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, we keep oh. calling him the Grinch. Yeah. But that we're really just describing him in a way. Should we call well, him the, Mr. The Grinch? The book calls him the Grinch. 
Sure, but what's his real name? I mean, how would you like it if you came out and that was your name? Well, Carl? Mm-hmm. You were the gooch from... <laughs> Why was I just going to say Gooch? (laughs) (laughs) Is it the only example of that that we have? Wow. I mean, we don't, you know, uh, like... Synchronicitous Gooch. Gooch. You have Cindy Lou Who. She's Mm -hmm. not Mm -hmm. the Cindy Lou Who. Right. She's the only Who with a name. Yeah. Yeah. And she was no more than two, which, uh, I mean, pretty precocious. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because she's that's in two years, though. I was gonna say, you know, yeah. or yeah. because it's post-apocalypse, right. or yeah. let's be let's be clear, you know, if if it's part of some, you know, religious zealots sect, they probably don't have birth certificates. They're <laughs> off the grid, hiding from the government. Uh, she's right. probably like six or eight. We just don't know. She's quote <laughs> two. It was a convenient but, rhyme. Yeah, no. but for, for sure. a group that's off the grid. They seem to. Do they have a a problem with conspicuous consumption and gluttony and? <laughs> not apparently. Nope. They don't. You, you they seem they don't to. Have... Well, okay. They seem to not because when, like, I mean, literally. I mean, if I'm, maybe I'm taking the story at face value too much. But when everything is gone and they've got nothing, they're still deliriously happy. Yeah. But then, I mean, if that's the case, why buy anything? Because stuff's awesome. And they also seen they stuff. I don't know. Stuff is fantastic. <laughs> know that they're they know their stuff is missing because when they come out and sing their yeah. all, their eyes are all closed wow wow i like Some that maybe that really <laughs> unobservant premature but yeah see, that's great i wonder if there was this there was this little seed planted in the grinch's uh heart where he just you know, he th- this entire story is actually just the narrative going on in his head. Like very, very little of this is actually true. Hmm. And he just knows that he needs to turn over a new leaf. And so he concocts this entire narrative in his head. Personal and Pete, fable. Yes, yes. And, and I agree with you, Pete. They come out, they're singing, their eyes are closed. They have no idea <laughs> what that what actually <laughs> happened at all. Hmm. And so the Grinch, you know, trying to turn over a new leaf, he's a little premature in his listening. Uh huh. And so he hears what he wants to hear, which is, oh, oh my God, that. they're singing anyway. Yeah. Actually, okay. no, what he wanted to hear was stone cold silence. He wanted to hear boo hoo. Yeah, for oh, someone who hates the the noise, 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 wouldn't there be a different kind of horrible noise once they all realize that all their stuff is gone and the wailing and the horror and the sadness? And the... I was like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> the worse than before. That's right. That's true. That's right. It'd be exactly like the, the Middle Ages. <laughs> just like pestil- yeah, just pestilence and sorrow. <laughs> wailing. Hey, uh... This is the Indiana Jones Minute, and uh, Max, who we love, uh, pulls a total Indiana Jones on the way down the hill with the sled. He does the uh, under the truck <laughs> trick. Oh, he, like, does. he doesn't oh, mean yeah. to. It's That's a total right. accident, yeah. but he yeah. totally does it. And yeah. then he waves. That's right. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> he does a lot of, of waving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite moments. Right yeah. There. That's yeah. really good. And once I figured out that this was uh, Chuck Jones, because I really didn't know, um, I saw so many Bugs Bunny things, and that was one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought that yeah. was a good one. Oh yeah. And and That's also true. when also... Uh, the he gets on top of the Grinch, and the Grinch has to take him off like a girdle. <laughs> yeah. That's one of my yeah. favorites too. It's very very wily e. coyote. Love it. Yeah. Oh totally. <laughs> and we also get some Indiana Jones looking stuff when the the Grinch kind of uses a he swings between buildings it's a lot like indy oh using yeah his whip to swing mm-hmm. between buildings and last oh crusade. you mean using the reeds yeah 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 he's really you know he's really really crafty he that's is what's, yeah, yeah that's what's interesting he's very crafty and i don't i i can't say that about the who's yeah, the who's well, are kind of dummies they're happy dummies yeah, yeah well, they're ha- yeah you know, they had to build all those instruments they did Nah, no, no, I think they, true. I think they ordered them. They're yeah. Susan Roebuck. Yeah, Amazon. I think they ordered Amazon. them. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, because when you think about the Grinch and you think about Christmas and then he has this idea and his idea is he's going to fill up a sack with sacks. <laughs> yeah. That's actually amazing. Huh. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like people who, who pack an empty suitcase just to bring back souvenirs or local beer or something. Or Yeah. Uh-huh. They got it all figured out. Well, no, it's actually even better than that. He's just bringing a sack to steal and it's sacks yeah. and sacks wow. yeah it's yeah. a little different than beer <laughs> i guess so so that's that would be indiana jones packing his suitcase or not packing his <laughs> did suitcase i miss it is the case did i miss maybe? what you're talking about i think you just want to say sack a lot okay I yeah. <laughs> all right i think it's a great idea it's it's, it it's yeah. like this reciprocal of christmas you got this guy and mm-hmm. a sleigh who's got a sack yeah. And now you got a guy in a sleigh who's basically vacuuming up all the <laughs> yep. yeah. with a sack. Yeah. That's oh, you know what Pete's one. least favorite of this whole thing is? The Pete's least favorite part of this whole thing is uh, the Grinch getting stuck in the chimney. That starts your, that stops your heart for just a second, doesn't it, Pete? Yeah. With your anxiety. I, it, yeah, it did a little bit. It, it does my I'm just putting it on anxious. you, but it actually freaks me out. Well, yeah. I think it makes me more anxious is it says he got stuck just once and then he gets stuck twice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's it's revisionist. Right. It also bothers me when the when the ladder bends and he climbs yeah. up. That bothers me, too. Yeah. I also hate how he throws the sacks filled with stuff on top of poor Max. Yeah. Can I, can yeah. I ask another Indiana Jones question? Yeah. Of course. So uh, I didn't I didn't frame it this way when I thought of the question. But it is. Um, so do you think there's an exhibit to the Grinch in the Whoville Museum? Oh, wow. Could be Indiana Jones. Wow. Right. I think there is. I mean, this is this is certainly a day. Um, yeah, it's, it sounds like this is a historical day from here on out, which I mean, the, the funny not thing that the is, who's it's... noticed, but it is sort of historical. It's a historical. You, well, what's interesting okay. is so so you have this now this this holiday that also uh, coincides with Christmas. Oh right. Oh oh. So okay. So then what's the, the holiday uh, that the secular well, that, Christmas that's based on paganism is going to be co opted a third time by the Grinchists. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. They're going to take the yeah. the the, the mm-hmm. pagan by way of Christianity symbols and uh, make it a Unitarianism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It, basically, I guess it's known as the the day that uh, the Grinch's heart grew. Basically, he overcame his postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yep. which is which is uh, you know that's the technical term for having a heart that's too small. Oh, thank you. So, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> It doesn't actually add up, though, because if he's living at 10,000 feet, he's actually got a bigger heart than usual to pump. Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, to get oxygen because you need more oxygen and more pumping and more stroke volume and all this sort of thing. So uh-huh. he's already got a bigger heart than usual, not smaller, or he'd be dead, which made me mm. think, OK, he's actually at sea level and he's 10,000 <laughs> feet above Whoville, <laughs> which is actually in a really, really deep canyon. Oh, yeah. Like you're saying okay. it's, it's 10,000 feet below sea level? Correct. <laughs> so he's That's like the way halfway, I figured it. Yeah, a third of the way. Who builds a third of the way to the Marianas Trench? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've got really small hearts. Super small. Really? <laughs> All the pressure just has to be. <laughs> That's right. Like a styrofoam head, you know? Yeah. They're just small. Being driven insane <laughs> by the pressure. Well, what, They're deliriously what, what, happy. What, <laughs> What's interesting is we don't know that he lives 10,000 feet up. What we do know is that Mount Crumpet is mm. 10,000 feet up. And so he goes up and he scales Mount Crumpet to dump it. Yeah. And uh-huh. I think to myself so that that it's really oh. a perf- it's yeah, it's a performance piece. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. That 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 is what he's doing. He's stealing Christmas. And then he scales 10,000 feet up. With a hostage dog. With Sad. a hostage dog. And he's just going to push the sled, or at least all the, 
you know, all the items in the sleigh, right. he's going to dump it. That's what he's doing. He's not just stealing it. He's also dumping it off of a 10,000 foot Mount Crumpet. Right. And I thought there's something about that that's very, um, oh, you know, who's the, who's the, it's performance. It's it's sort of it's like, like when you lose like the. Christo was. Yes, it's Christo. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, he's using the landscape. <laughs> Yeah. As sort of uh, uh, this this performance art piece in a way. Yeah, <laughs> that's horrible. He's just he's just employing Mount Crumpet. <laughs> so to there do he is it. in the Canadian Rockies, and he's gonna ruin everything. Probably start some avalanches. Man, but yeah. really, all when, he needs is a good falls. eBay account. Well, when this stuff falls, is it gonna fall on the village on Whoville and smash everybody, or is there, are they even gonna see it falling? I don't even think Not so. No, I think open, it's, he just wants to eyes. take it to the highest height and get rid of it. I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if he cares who sees it. Yeah. But that's yeah. what I mean. There's so much about it for him is just symbolic. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 He's not just tossing off a cliff. He's tossing off the highest place he can possibly find. Well, I'm just yes. thinking he's a philosophy major. He's going to do it all for <laughs> symbolic or. Sure. No, it could be art theater. Either way. Sure. Oh, I'm well, at his theater. Philosophy would, would explain why he's. Uh, I don't know. He's got a blackened whole soul, you know, because he's he's read it all. He's gone through it. He <laughs> probably it's he, yeah. You either it's you evil. either choose you know existentialism. You either choose a religion that's going to fit your worldview, which clearly he doesn't. At least not with the locals. Then you're going to choose existentialism, where you're going to find your own meaning, and you know he's he's not there either. So, or at least his own meaning is just stealing from the who's and dumping it. And then, so that's all he has left. He doesn't have a religion. He doesn't have uh, existentialism. He has no meaning. Okay. Which, which I think, yeah, he's, he's, he's gone through all the philosophy and mm -hmm, he, he still mm -hmm. is coming up empty handed. Yeah. But he doesn't actually do it. He's redeemed. He is. Well, that's he was why I've, do it. I have a question. I'm wondering if, much like Yahweh is a character in Raiders <laughs> of the Lost Ark, yes. I'm wondering if Mount Crumpet is a character <laughs> in the Grinch. Because that's uh, where he well, has, you know, first of all... It's like it's, Mount, Mount Sinai. Or... Yeah. I mean, that that's where he has this, this uh, realization. Well, it's just a place. It's a location. It, it all comes from him. Tommy, it's all, it's it's all not the just Grinch. It, no, it's not just a place. It's crumpet. It rhymes with dump it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's handy. That's why he went there because it rhymed, and that would that would you know <laughs> touch his his artist heart. Yeah. But uh, no, it's his it's redemption also why Cindy is all from Lou, him. Who is no more than two, when clearly yeah. she's about fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of artist's heart, who keeps holding that uh, radioactive X-ray machine in front of his heart? <laughs> it's Max, Camera <laughs> yeah Daffy Duck <laughs> hey I have a bone to pick with uh with the the adaptation here uh back at the, okay. this is back when he's uh still you know ruining Christmas and taking everybody's stuff uh a line from the book and that's you know it's in the in, in this as well that he uh I can't quote it exactly you know, but you know he he didn't even he left uh all he left was was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse yeah Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But then in this, he doesn't leave it. He actually takes right, it. Takes a mouse it. approaches yeah. it, is thinking about it. Maybe it's not too small for me. Maybe I'll, mm -hmm. maybe I'll enjoy this crumb. And the Grinch reaches down and takes it, which sort of undoes <laughs> the line for me. It's a little disappointing. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know why the light bulbs are hot. Why does he have to keep licking his fingers to undo the light bulbs oh, if it's no, nighttime? I didn't think they were hot. And the lights have been out this whole I time. I thought it was just so he could get a purchase on them. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like his hands were super slippery, like just smooth and dry? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, they're very furry. That could be. He does have to chalk up his uh, his cane. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> I don't know. I think what's interesting about him taking the crumb from the mouse is it's like you have the narration, and mm -hmm. then it's even darker than that. <laughs> yeah, like the narrator <laughs> is almost hoping for the. He's almost being positive. He's like, "Oh yes. yeah, no, he left a crumb." <laughs> He left a crumb. Isn't that awful? Oh, wait, he didn't leave a crumb. Oh, my God. Yeah. What a monster. <laughs> so do you think it was common in houses before, say, 1970, that they all had a little art-shaped mouse hole in a corner? 
They, apparently, if TV has taught me anything, yes. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. house had that. Tom and yeah. Jerry had it, and yeah. Bugs Bunny had it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, it is curious, though, that, I mean, it was clearly uh, poor construction because those mouse holes, they go straight out to the rain gutter. I don't know if you noticed yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. He pokes all the in ornaments into the mouse hole, and they all fit, yeah. which doesn't make any sense. And then they all <laughs> wind up outside the house. Which tells me that when that snow melts, it's all it's gonna flood the living room. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? All the who's are gonna be happy. That's yeah. right. Well no, or now, not now the it. Grinch is <laughs> the Grinch has been through all this. He's like, Hey, you know, now that I'm good, I noticed while I was stealing all your stuff, <laughs> you got some structural issues. I'm gonna take care of it. I I made this sleigh and this thing and everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix your houses, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Well, I have to say, even even before he's good, like even when he's quote unquote bad, he's remarkably kind to little Cindy Lou Who. Yeah, he got her a drink of water. Yeah, he got her a drink of water. Yeah. He sent her off to bed. He probably didn't her even her head. spit in her. Like, he didn't want to hurt her feelings. No. Yeah, the highest it's, honor it's, of a Fremen from June. yeah couldn't do a nicer oh, thing for somebody. I don't know what that means. A Fremen, sharing eh? his water. Do, <laughs> does anybody know what a rotter is? Yeah, it's British. What is it? It's a little like uh, a bugger. <laughs> <laughs> like a bugger. It... <laughs> like a son of a gun. Hey, uh, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know about that bugger. They sound like you've been banging your... You've been banging your... Uh, your again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have to ask you to keep it clean. So. Well, it's, it's actually a, a, a thoroughly objectionable person. See? Yeah. So, so the next line is uh, a sot. Do you know what a mm -hmm. sot is? It's a drunkard, right? Yeah, yeah. a habitual yeah. drunkard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they I, uh, tipple you know, much in Whoville. I don't think they they look kindly on uh, people who drink. How would they notice? What's the difference between like a drunk guy and a who? <laughs> Who's just like so like we're having fun with our tinklers and our binklers and our <laughs> banging our garginkas and yeah. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. It's true. <laughs> what if the whole thing? Maybe, maybe it's just all about addiction. What? No, just... <laughs> He's never watched a cartoon before. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Well, it would be interesting to see what a bad day in Whoville looks like. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, because this is clearly something that the day uh, is the mills be... close or something. <laughs> the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this got dark fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a Man. fire at the warehouse or. <laughs> I have a question for uh, for Jerry Porter. Why, yes. Have you, have you ever made your puzzler sore? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'll say this. When your puzzler gets sore, yeah. you're just about to solve it. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's just the truth. That's, I mean, that's what's going on. When your puzzler yeah. is sore, that's when you're really doing the heavy lifting. Well, that's sure, because you've yeah. puzzled and puzzed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all puzzled out. Yeah. I wondered, like, so the Grinch took everything. He's going to dump it, but he left the hooks and wires. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm like, that's that's good scrap metal. <laughs> he left all the copper I mean, wiring in the house. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> good, problem. good point. Well, he wasn't trying to steal from them for the sake of stealing. He was just trying to get rid of the noise. Yeah. Was he okay? So let's be clear. What was he trying to do? A was he trying to get rid of the con, you know conspicuous consumption? No. You no. Know? Okay. Not that. I would uh, say yes. Perhaps. You would say yes. That's like bonus for him, but that's not his main mission. I mean, he was like he flat out says, "I want to stop Christmas from coming." Yeah, yeah but I mean, more Christmas. than that, I think he just wants to ruin the time for the who's. Yeah, he really he doesn't understand. He says maybe it doesn't come in buckets and bags or whatever. He really doesn't understand the consumeristic part of it, this at all. He's puzzled. Yeah. Right? I mean, he sees them with all this stuff and they're having a ball. And he's like, okay, I hate the noise. I hate the who's. If they seem to love this stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to take this stuff from them and that will make them sad. And that'll make me happy because I hate them so much. 
and then make he gets them all quieter, the stuff, and they're all still happy, and he's like, and he, I mean, yeah, he does yeah. this in, in this this beautiful. I don't know if it's choreographed or improvised, but he does this in this this beautiful dance all through the houses, all through mm-hmm. the town, mm-hmm. up Mount Crumpet to dump it. Yeah. It's really uh-huh. it's really a gorgeous uh, piece. Yeah. It's like when you see like the mafia or something, you see shows about the mafia and these guys are brilliant. They got these systems for doing everything and they got it mm-hmm. all figured out. Their business like, wow, if you just took that energy and applied it to something good. <laughs> yeah. You know, think of what you could do. Like all <laughs> yeah. that energy you put into stealing Christmas from the Who's, what if you what if you just turn that sure. frown upside down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the dance that he does, I have a question for uh uh anyone who would like to stand in for John Bruggen. Anyone? Oh, all right. All of you. No, none of us dares to. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> okay. Here's my question for John Brogan. How does he slither about? So he slithers mm. and slunk, <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. I need, I need to know. He's not a legless lizard. He's got legs. Mm. Uh, yeah. He's probably not any kind of a lizard at all. He's got fur. And he's, got, he's got like a big round booty. He does. He does. Yeah. He's, he's, that's the most amazing thing about him. He's so nimble and able yeah. physically, but still has such like a beer belly and everything. He also well, walks like a kangaroo. But... Have you noticed this? So when he is oh. go, moving from one, from like a near house to a far house, he's actually kind of doubled over, like walking on his knuckles. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but when he's not doing that, the other way we see him uh, motoring around is slithering without limbs. Well, at one point, they say he's as charming as an eel, and maybe that's oh. not meant ironically. Like maybe yeah. he is as charming as like John as Rubin eels go. Say, you're the most charming. An eel's pretty charming, so maybe oh, he is just okay. like a charming <laughs> eel slithering around. See, I, it's funny you mentioned John Bruggen because I had a question for him, and I was wondering if um, you can have a seasick crocodile. Oh yeah. Good one. <laughs> yeah. And, and if, 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 if I'm, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think there are a few uh, crocodiles that are intercontinental. So they can actually, you know, they, some of them can live in salt water. They like travel I, with I, I miles know, or something? I don't know how Points? that, I mean, being seasick sounds a little, well, I mean, they're okay on land and in the water. Mm-hmm. I don't kind know. Of their thing. Yeah, I wonder if they. I don't know. It is maybe they get land. Sick? I don't know. Hmm. I don't think they get far. They could ever get far enough into the ocean to get seasick. I don't know. I don't. They either. go across the Bering Strait, Jerry. That's how they get intercontinental. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to swim across the ocean. Well, seasick crocodile to me sounds like something out of the Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Heard of a crocodile who's seasick. <laughs> I guess I'm barfing. No kids want to play with me. <laughs> oh, we'll find you home. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. Um, are we ready for the Grinch to be happy yet? Because something weird sure. happens. What yeah. happens? He gets all happy. He figures out that uh, maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store, and he lifts up the thing. It's a beautiful, glorious, like nuclear explosion behind him and everything. Yeah. And his uh-huh. eyes go all blue. But then after that, they keep kind of going back to red and yellow, and then blue again, and then red again. And I wonder if that's just like the uh, his eyes. The, yes, or the he's background? happy. He's found love. No, his his eyes. His eyes keep oh. changing color from like happy yeah. blue to like evil red. Oh. And it's like, yes, I'm happy, but maybe. There's still going to be the eternal struggle in my soul. Like I like my my anger and fury are not just gone. Um, I'm just I'm going to have to keep them at bay for the rest of my life, like a true, self-realized human being. Wow. Or Grinch. Yeah. Mm. I mm. think that's just the who hash. <laughs> it oh, could be well, the who hash. It was wearing yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh-huh. He was crashing. Well, speaking of, my note just says the Grinch may not be wearing pants, but he has beautiful blue eyes. Like he's got a beautiful <laughs> eye alert. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. And he gets all cute and daffy about it. He's got that big bashful, dumb smile on his face. Yeah. He does. Oh, my well, favorite, well, my favorite moment in the whole thing. My favorite little detail when he's sliding down, like face first, like trying to hold on to the sleigh, and like there's a little, like you know, like a. Uh, like tiny little crumbs of snow rolling yeah. past them, and they actually get bigger as they go because they're collecting snow like like a snowball will as oh. it goes down. And this is just that oh. they bothered to do that amazes me, and I think that's really cool. 
That is a good one. Well, I think so. So if you if you think about it, at the end, the Grinch's eyes turn blue, and um, the other person that we see who has um, striking blue eyes is Cindy Lou Who. Mm hmm. So, oh. um, yes, at, at the very end, basically, that's how he's uh, maybe he's joined the cult or it could be uh, for those of you out there with, uh, you know, a little literature bend. You know, maybe it's uh, like the bluest eye, Tony Morrison. Oh, I thought you were going to say for a literature uh, bent, it would be uh, the Sneetches. He's finally got the right color eyes. All the oh, cool people geez. down in Hoogle have blue eyes. And now he's well, got you didn't eyes. get that book at all, did you, Tommy? You did not understand no, no, no. The, the importance of being the same as everybody else. It's, it's important to be awesome and just yes. like everybody else. I thought well, you were going to say maybe... eight spice. I thought, is it, isn't that what happened? <laughs> the spice? I you were going to say maybe yeah. Cindy Lou is his, his, his kid. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. He's got the antennae. Well, well, I think we deadbeat can... dad has finally returned. <laughs> And everything's going to be Maybe okay. that's why he was nice to her. Jeez. Yeah. Well, let's be clear. All right. I mean, th their gene pool is is very shallow. They all have blue eyes. You know, back me yeah. up here, Chris, or that, that's a recessive gene trait. Sure. A lot of recessive genes getting kicked around a lot, there. A lot of recessive. I think <laughs> we I mean, can, they I all think, these yeah. who's got blue eyes. Yeah, I mean, that's. I think so. We better start doing a, a you know, a finger and toe check. Oh, Deal. dear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as he's uh, heading down the uh, the thing, he's, he's heading back down to uh, Whoville with everything. I do yeah. have another question for my friend uh, Jerry Porter. Yeah. Jerry? Yes? Have you ever whizzed <laughs> with your load? <laughs> <laughs> On Christmas? I did once. I did once, but it was in Vegas. Oh, okay. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> not, uh, um, I, I, I have a question here. Uh <laughs> For anyone, actually, not about my load or no, any of that, but and you I'm can bored. choose either either route. You can you can choose the town of Whoville or you can choose the mountain. Um, have you ever received a Christmas gift that has changed your life? Oh my God! Yeah, or 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 Ruined have you your ever life? had oh. <laughs> have you ever had a Christmas experience that has changed your life? Hmm. Tommy. I mean, the first thing I think of is the Christmas I came down and saw the Death Star playset under the tree and the land speeder, both on the same wow. Christmas. That was pretty amazing. That's when I'm yeah. like, I kind of looked around. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be 47 someday. And I'm going to look back on this and say, this was the Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is finer than being seven or eight years old. This is great. That's a yeah. good one. Pete? No, I never have. Oh, No. <laughs> No, Darn it, like Pete, you took my watching, answer. Like movies and TV shows, and it's supposed to be the most magical day of the year, and everything magical is supposed to happen, and everyone loves each other. That it, It's never happened like that for me. The, so, no. yeah, well, 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 you don't have to go all that. Why do, how about just a present you got? That changed my life? Yeah. No. <laughs> He's mad at you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for rubbing it in there. <laughs> for those of you out there, Jesus Christ, send Pete something. <laughs> show you, for the love of God, yeah. show up on his door and take him out to dinner. <laughs> Give him a hug. I wouldn't have a roof over my head if it wasn't for you, Pete. <laughs> Switzer? Uh oh sure I got one it was the it was the the Christmas that my parents brought home my baby brother oh, and nothing was girl. ever the oh. same <laughs> <laughs> I was born in May yeah, I was gonna say wait a minute. Well, <laughs> she wasn't talking about you I know well ask a silly question pal <laughs> Oliver Porter Jer Bear uh well I you know I thought about it and I would say uh, the Christmas that my parents got me a snare drum. Oh. Yes, and there's actual photographic evidence of it. I remember sitting in the living room, and I wasn't expecting it, and I opened up a snare drum, and... Noise, uh, noise, noise, noise. Noise! <laughs> <laughs> I asked for a kerblonker. What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> Christmas is ruined. <laughs> I started to bang that garginka, and... Um, you know, it was amazing. I played the drum for uh, 
three months in the basement. You might remember this, Chris. Or, yep. And I used to pretend that I was in the Stray Cats because that guy <laughs> played one snare drum, right? He did. <laughs> and I'll never forget, Mom came down and she goes, hey, we, uh, we need to take the drum back. And oh I was God. like, what are you talking about? And she's like, well, we didn't know if you'd like it or not, so we just rented it. Oh, oh my. We didn't buy it. We just rented it. And I was like, <laughs> why, you Grinch. <laughs> Mom. You, and it, it blew my mind. They had rented the snare drum from Academy Music. Which actually and- makes a lot of sense. Yes, it actually well, does. I it's didn't, kind of the way to do it. Actually, they, but they didn't tell me that. They just <laughs> came down one day and took it, and I didn't have drums for like maybe a year. No, <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was a Christmas that changed my life, and then it was a July sixth that ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that must have been uncomfortable conversations when you weren't it around. It was. It was actually kind <laughs> yeah. of weird. They never told me they had just rented it. Wow. <laughs> But then they got you a whole set and it all worked. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's like the middle finger of the magic. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, here. I spent money and got you this thing, but only for a little while. (laughs) Yoink. Isn't that ironic? (laughs) Isn't your mind blown? Yeah, and then the Grinch comes back and everybody's everything's fine. He manages to somehow uh, throw all the right presents to all the right people and... uh, Although they're so, again, they're so blindly happy, they probably don't care. They're probably uh-huh. like, you know, hey, yeah. I got a present. I don't know what this is, but I love it. It came in a wrapped present, in a wrapped box. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Well, what's fascinating is we see the day where the Grinch has gone from a blackened heart to, uh, you know, a, you know, a, a, a robust, whatever, beautiful, un, you know, unblackened heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I, I, I do ask. I want to see the day where Whoville goes from smiling, happy face. <laughs> <laughs> it's the absolute, <laughs> you know, just uh, a catastrophe. And... Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, I-, I wonder, because we have these two diametrically opposed groups here. Not anymore, though. I guess not. I, th- I think somewhere, as, as, I don't know, Tommy, you said it, you know, uh, Somewhere the Grinch knows it's like, all right, I'm really the only one who can think here in this town. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, this is great, and it's I've I've had a renaissance. I've turned over a new leaf, but you know, like two or three weeks from now, it's going to be really hard. Yeah, I yeah. guess I should yeah, just true. enslave them and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run this place anyway. We know that. <laughs> exactly. No time like the present. right and you know he wasn't that bright because his shoes were too small and they never say anything about him getting larger shoes this is true so he's a master seamstress obviously so what about the word seamstress by the way that i i sent i said to my friend once what's the what's the you only hear about seamstresses you never hear about like male seamstresses seamstresses. like seems like a A seamster. seamster Well, see, you guys yeah. are doing the same thing I did. And he, my friend looked at me and said, Tommy, it's your name. Yeah. <laughs> it's your name. <laughs> like, oh, okay. oh, all right. Thank you, Pete. I don't, I don't know <laughs> if he really is a good uh, tailor there. I think he was just um, he was just fueled by his anger. Yeah, I mean, he made like a done. good Halloween yeah. costume. It's like uh, that kind of crafty. Yeah. But you could easily, you know, make yourself some new shoes. Those shoes don't look like anything special. They could make That's a bigger true. version of those. Well, he might tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And he he had killed at least one animal because he had the ha- antlers on the wall. I oh, wondered yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. Unless he moved I into the cave that. and they were already hanging, those antlers. Nah, no, knowing the Grinch, he probably did. Although he is very particular. He I, seems to be, I don't know, he seems to be particular. I, I'm I'm still super uncomfortable about this roast beast. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks a lot like a dog. I was just going to say. It, it, well, could it be like a canine type, you know, related creature that like is wolf. fine to eat? A hyena. Yeah, like a, a hyena or a well, werewolf. I hate, I, or I hate a... to say this to everybody, but the very first, I mean, the Grinch cuts the first piece. Yeah. But the person who eats the first yeah, piece is Max. Maxed. Yeah. 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 That's mm-hmm. weird. Maybe yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he just obviously hadn't eaten in months. Guy's a beaut. <laughs> yeah. 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 Poor guy. I know this guy. I don't care. I'm eating him. <laughs> <laughs> Starving. Well, I was wondering about the cannibalism thing because everything they eat is called who. 
Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Like hash and soil and green. And ma- you know what? Maybe the whole thing <laughs> takes place up in the mountains at Donner Lake. Oh, there we are. Sure. That's as far as they got. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got anything else for this poor, battered Christmas? Well, I was I was waiting. I just one thing, and that was I was waiting for Jared to say one word, and he didn't say it. I was going to wonder oh. how long it took him to say this one word, and he didn't say it. Well, we'll find out next year That's right. on the next <laughs> Christmas. Oh wait, no. What what is it? What is it? Uh, Potemkin. Jared always manages to to throw in the word Potemkin, and here we're talking about this. <laughs> This Whoville house and the Whoville <laughs> houses and so forth, and he didn't do it. Way to go, Jer. Such well, use it in a sentence. Go ahead, Jer. Oh, like, like, like you know, the like Whoville is just a Potemkin village. It's oh. just like yeah. fronts of houses. Yeah. Fronts of houses. Oh, okay, and, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. And he didn't say it. Just giant it's staircases with baby carriages slowly going down while there's a gunfight and a. <laughs> yes. Kind of, oh, that's a different Potemkin. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Wait, sing it, Tommy. Oh, Jesus. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. I know it's going to be good. <laughs> I literally don't know what you want me to sing. Do you want me oh, to sing the next song? <laughs> 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 I shouldn't have printed out the lyrics because they're awesome. <laughs> I said, no, but I, my favorite word in the whole thing is imaginable. It's the way he says imaginable. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty I good. I, don't, I forget what it is that's imaginable, the, the worst, you know, whatever imaginable. I'm not going to sing it. I, my throat's full of eggnog right now. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> hey, it's Christmas. All the noise, 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 noise God. of me choking on eggnog. Sorry. <laughs> Pete's having a hard time. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, on that note, guys, <laughs> Merry Christmas to you all. Happy holidays. Season's greetings. I hope everybody here uh, on this show has an awesome holiday, and I hope everybody out there has an awesome holiday. Yeah. Everybody awesome. listening to this. Yeah, if you're trying to try to warm yourself by the fire while you think of uh, us possibly recording some Crystal Skull episodes, which I'm sure we're doing. Uh, we're getting ready for our next season still, but uh, we'll keep popping up every once in a while in places like this uh, with some uh, bonus content to keep you uh, happy and healthy uh, until the next season comes out. And uh, Happy New Year, love to you and yours, and please come back next time whenever that is for the next episode of Indiana Jones Minute here on the Indiana Jones Minute. <laughs> I'm going to do that over. That was horrible. Wait a minute. Wait, that was good. I don't, I really? It. Okay. Yeah, that was fine. Oh, good. I'll keep it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to get out of here.